So folks, today's video is a little different. It's a little different. It's for the men out there uh, who follow. Uh, it might be for the women who want to pass this along to the men, the men in their lives. Um, I'm going to go a little deep here and uh, just speak to my experience at midlife or going through midlife and some of the things that have changed over the years with regards to my way of thinking, to mindset. And um, it, it's funny, I got into a conversation the other day about winning, about what it means to be to be winning. And uh, I get a kick out of some men who, you know, put on this front about how they're winning, how they, you know, bought this new car and they're flexing their new car or they're, you know, they're, they're maybe they're even talking to people about winning. And what is winning? I mean, winning to me, part of that means showing up. You know, if you're a good dad, it means, it means showing up for your kids, being on time for your kids, being a good father, meaning lifting them up, filling them with positivity. Um, you know, not talking poorly about their mother if you happen to be separated or divorced, or even if you're together, I see that sometimes too. It means really inspiring your children to not only be good kids and to be good teenagers, but remember our job as parents is to help our children become great adults. And the way we do that is through action. The way we do that, they they don't just listen. In fact, you guys probably know this. They they don't listen. Uh, their their attention span is is very very short. They do listen, but 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 not to the whole thing. They they watch and they learn from what they see. So it's not just about talking a big talk. And there's a lot of men, unfortunately, there who talk a big game, but they don't walk the walk. You know, there, there there's something to be said about having stability. There's something to be said about having a steady income, a steady job. There's something to be said about being on time. There's something to be said about showing up. And, you know, this this thing, again, over the years, winning was was really important to me. As an athlete, I, I, was, I was obsessed with winning. I was obsessed with being the best. But as I got a little bit older, I realized that it wasn't about me. It's more about other people. It's more about helping other people. And it's about being true and being honest and being the best person you can possibly be through your actions. Now, we're never, you're never perfect. We're all a work in progress and that's true. But it starts with showing up. It starts with being there, body, mind, spirit, fully being there for your kids, for your wife, for your significant other, for your friends, for your family, whatever the case may be. It's another thing that changes a little bit. I'm getting into this whole changes in midlife and the things that I've gone through. Your circle changes, your sphere of influence, your, your, your circle of friends changes as you hit midlife because the people you let into your life, you become more picky about the people you let into your life and you become less tolerant of people who quite frankly are, are just bringing nonsense and just bringing stress and just bringing foolishness uh, to your relationships. So it's really, things change as you get to midlife. And, and with men, I find that you, at some point, something has to change and you have, your pride has to be set aside. You have to start living for other people. It's more than just you. It's not about just you. It's about yeah. It's it's about being healthy, being strong, being being you know body, mind, spirit, being being all there so that you can give. But it is about that. It's about giving. But you got to show up first. You got to be there. You got to be present. You have to be that role model that you want your kids to be. You want to be that person that everybody looks at and says, yeah, that there's more to that man than, than, than what it appears. There's, there's something deeper there. That man is honest. That man is true. There's some depth there. It's not just superficial. It's not just talk. And, you know, as I got a little bit older and started coaching, I became obsessed with helping other people. I became obsessed with other people's success, no matter what that might be, whether it's athletes, whether it's in, in uh, nutrition, whether it's in fitness, whether it's even monetarily, whether it's in business. I love watching other people succeed. That gives me such a high. And, and at, at some point in your life, it does change. You become more aware of your thoughts and how your thoughts seem to turn towards helping others. And towards, you know, maybe doing more for other people, not just about you. When you get to midlife, you start to realize that it's not about the things. I've had all the things. Trust me when I tell you it's not about 
the things. It's about the doing. It's about really digging deep into who you are, heart and soul, figuring that out, and then giving to other people. The ego goes away. If you're in midlife and you still have an ego, you need to check that ego. If you're still in midlife and you're still in the me, me, me mentality, you got some growing up to do. It's not about you. It's about others. It's about serving others. It's about serving a higher power. It's about being the best version of you. It's about walking the walk, not just talking. The talk. Anybody can talk. I talk all the time. It's not just about talk. Don't, t don't just listen to me. Watch my actions. I say that to the boys. I say that to my girls. I say it all the time. Don't listen to me. Yes, listen to me. But do what I do. Watch what I do. And, and, and like I said, I am the furthest thing from perfection. But I have learned a lot through the years. And I've learned that I am so grateful. And gratitude is one of the greatest gifts that you can have as an individual. Gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. Stop trying to, to get everything that everybody else has. Stop posing. Stop flexing. No one cares about your new car. No one cares about your new watch. No one cares about your clothes. No one cares about your new kicks. No one cares. Literally no one cares. No one cares. And the people who care, well, no one cares about that either. It doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. It matter. What matters most is who you are. Who are you truly inside? What are you giving to others to help others be better? Are you giving, are you, are you putting people down? Are you bringing people down? Are you talking bad about people? Are you talking poorly about people? Are you trash people? Are you clowning people? If you're clowning people, you're a clown. Don't be clowning people. That you know, Again, when you're young, you know, you do things. You chirp, you clown, you do all those kinds of things. It's kind of cool at the time when you're in your 20s, maybe in your early 30s. It's never cool. But especially when you get to mid, like, come on, who? what are you doing? It's time to start walking the walk. Never mind the talk. Fix yourself. Get healthy. That's the first thing. Take care of your body. Take care of your health. Eat better. Exercise more. Drink that water. Do those things. Take care of your mind. Be around better people. Get rid of those losers that you hung out with that dragged you down. Get rid of them. Get rid of the people in your life that are just noise, that are just there, that are just negative. Get rid of them. What are you doing bringing people into your life at this age? If you're in your mid-30s, 40s and 50s, if you're there and you're bringing losers into your life, you need to fix that because there's nothing that will sidetrack your life more than bringing in negativity, than bringing in people who are going to drag you down. And, it, and, and people have a great way of disguising. People have a great way of, of sort of talking a big talk, but watch their actions. How do they treat others? How do they treat others in their lives? What are they saying? What are they doing? Watch that stuff and then make an informed decision. You don't need those types of people in your life. Fix your mind, fix your body, fix your mind, and then fix your spirit. Fix your spirit. Be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be and give. There's nothing more powerful than helping somebody else. And I've realized that again, going from being an athlete, you know, I was, I was never a top athlete. I did well because I worked my butt off. I outworked everybody in the room as the rock would say. I outworked everybody in the room. That's just, that's how I had some level of success, but I'm a much better coach than I ever was an athlete because I love helping people succeed. I love watching others success. I love watching others flourish. I love watch, watching others become the absolute best they can possibly be. That's a huge thrill for me. That's my gift. That's what I do. That's what I love. Nothing brings me more joy than watching others succeed. And when you get a little bit older, again, those things change. Family becomes much more important. The people that you love, the, tr the, the, the true friends, and most of us only have a handful. Trust me when I tell you that. There's very few of us that have 50 good friends, close friends, that will have our back no matter what. And if you look around what's happened in the midst of this pandemic that's been happening, People are losing friends. People are losing lovers. People, people, there's such a divide and it breaks my heart to see that. If you want to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. I love you. If you don't want to get the vaccine, don't get the vaccine. I still love you. It's a personal choice. It's up to you. Why did, what is this division? What is this clash? It's a personal decision. I'm not judging you. Don't you judge me. That's how we should be living our lives. But let's not get into that negativity and start tearing each other down because people are made a choice or people are making a decision that's right for them. You don't know. You don't know what they're going through. I say this all the time. As we get a little bit older, we've gone through a lot of things. We've had more life experience and we've dealt with a lot of things. You don't know what someone's going through right now. 
You don't know what somebody is going through today. You don't know if somebody in their life just died. You don't know if somebody in their life is, is struggling. You don't know if they're struggling mentally or emotionally or physically. You don't know why they're making the decisions that they're making. And it's not up to you to make a decision for them. It's their choice on everything in life, especially when it comes to health, especially when it comes to their bodies. Let's get over the foolishness. Let's just love more. Can we have more love? It's another thing that you figure out. Gratitude is key and love is everything. Life is short. We need to make the best of it. We need to make the most out of the life that we're given. We need to be grateful for the things that we have in our lives. And we need to get out there. We need to start walking the walk. Stop talking. Stop chirping. Stop bullying. Get out there and walk the walk. And if you truly do it with good spirit and good intentions and with love, people will follow. Stop trying to jam your stuff down people's throats. It's not going to work again. You're at midlife now. It's time to grow up. It's time to be an adult. It's time to be a man. And, and, the, and true men know how to lead by example. True men lead with love. True men don't chirp. True, true men don't bully. True men lead with love and are grateful for everything that they have in life. That's my message for today. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.